Uh, his impact went far beyond professional basketball. You know, the rest of the world is reeling from this news, of course, as well. Eight in your size, Marco Villarreal, joining us now live from Julian B. Lane Park in downtown Tampa with much more on this. Sundays are great days for pickup games, especially with the beautiful weather today. I know that the news of Kobe's death had to dominate those talks on the court today. Yes, and there was a lot of people out here playing basketball earlier today. And I'll tell you what, the game of basketball, how it's played on these courts, was very much shaped by the legacy of the Black Mamba. On these local courts, the biggest thing getting picked up was news of a helicopter crash in California. My friend called me. He was like, you, you heard about Kobe? I was like, what about Kobe? Like, you know, he passed away. I was like, oh, man, that's crazy. The love of the game had this former basketball player thinking, on losing one of the greats. I, I grew up watching Kobe and, you know, LeBron and all them, and it was just, I don't know, I mean, kind of hurt me a little. At only 41, the NBA legend had just retired not too long ago. The suddenness of his death shocked fans. I just don't know. I'm, I'm really lost for words. Like, nobody, nobody expected that. Uh, you know. Among the nine killed in Sunday's crash was Kobe's 13-year-old daughter, an aspiring basketball star. She had already started inspiring other young girls. I thought, like, it was really sad that so-and-so young passed away, like, so quick that their life just flashed like that in the blink of the eyes. At the Skill Center in Tampa, where boys and girls are taught the game, young athletes grew up watching him play and borrowing his moves on the court and on their feet. He, he had an impact. Uh, on the community, the basketball community. And, and not only that, he had an amazing impact on the game. And I'll tell you what, he will continue to be remembered at courts like these all across Tampa Bay and all across the world, especially anytime one of these players throws up a shot and yells, Kobe. Reporting live in Tampa, Marco Villarreal, eight on your side. Marco, thank you. The world has certainly lost one of the greats. He will be missed. And for the latest on this story, we will continue following every detail on it, reaction from across the country and the globe, as well as a photo gallery of Kobe throughout the years. You can go to our free News Channel 8 app or our website, WFLA.com.